Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. I hope that you guys are doing really wonderful. And so in this video, we will be talking about the latest across the Caribbean and surrounding areas as well as the main development region. So it's going to be the battle between the tropical waves and that dry air. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important video. Okay, so as we take a look at the vicinity of the main development region here, we're looking off the coast of Africa, there is the Cabo Verde Islands. And so there is quite a bit of activity out there in association with those tropical waves. But that one that was looking really impressive yesterday, uh, we're seeing that it is looking a lot messier and more disheveled this afternoon. And just as I said in yesterday's update, I wasn't expecting that it would look as impressive today. And that is exactly what we see happening this afternoon so that dry air is infiltrating and helping to result in the dissipation of a lot of that shower and thunderstorm activity and so as we look at the dry air map here we can see it lots of dry air surrounding these tropical waves as they make their way off Africa so development conditions are a bit hostile across the main development region right now but the main condition or the main factor needed to result in some development or at least uh, some more development of those showers and thunderstorms is those very warm sea surface temperatures. And uh, even though it might struggle out there, it will struggle out there as it makes its way toward the west. Let, uh, let's look at the sea surface temperature anomaly map here. So this shows how much the temperature varies from what is typical based on the colors. So where we see the white areas, that is what is typical in those spots. And as we head to the warmer colors those shades of yellows oranges reds going further up to that darker shade that is where the temperature is way above average meanwhile the cooler colors those shades of blue heading from that lighter to that darker shade of blue indicates that uh, there are below average temperatures and we're hardly seeing any blue here just uh, those pale yellow shades oranges reds even in some parts so some areas are very warm right now and at the minimum tropical cyclones require at least 20 26 degrees Celsius in order to uh, have those thunderstorms developing and so we're seeing that in these spots it's around 29 at the minimum in some areas even 30 31 32 degrees Celsius and those would result in some crazy intensification but this isn't the only factor we have to take into consideration that wind shear as well and of course that dry air so if the wave uh, makes its way into this area and the environment is more conducive uh, then we could definitely see it develop into something or even the Gulf of Mexico but we're talking about that way down the road so there's a lot of time to watch this to see what it will do and of course I'm here to keep you guys posted on a daily basis but should it make its way into the vicinity of the Caribbean, even as a tropical wave where that shower and thunderstorm activity is disorganized, what we will see happen is that uh, it can result in some flooding across some spots with enough of that rainfall. So that might be something to look out for. That will be something to look out for as we're going to be heading into next week. So only time will tell that next wave is going to follow behind it. Looking at the surface chart, though, as of the latest update, the 12 UTC update we're seeing here, that uh, it is not marked just yet but I'm expecting that it will be uh, in the coming updates and so there are the other three out there two are over in the eastern Pacific one of which is actually a disturbance which could develop into the next system of the season it has a high 90% chance of formation through the next seven days and uh, here we have it on satellite imagery we can see that it is producing a lot of showers and thunderstorms and it could uh, become a depression by tomorrow so it could even produce some heavy rain along the coast of southwestern Mexico and even going up to the Baja California Peninsula persons will have to be on watch to see what this thing will do as we head into this weekend going into the early part of the new week and so now we want to hop back over into the Atlantic Basin. So we're taking a look at what is happening this afternoon across parts of the Caribbean and the surrounding areas. So going to Northern South America, here we can see some thunderstorms popping up across some areas that daytime heating resulting in that instability which supports the development of that activity 
activity. And then uh, in the vicinity of the Windward Islands, there is also some activity there. Some thunderstorms are near Trinidad and Tobago and even going into Grenada, the Grenadine, St. Vincent, Barbados, uh, even further up into the rest of the Lesser Antilles, out to Martinique, Guadeloupe, there might be some passing clouds or even a brief thunderstorm there. ABC Islands, dry and sunny just as forecast. Nothing much happening for Panama at this time and so going further up north, here we can see that there is some shower and thunderstorm activity across parts of Florida, the northern Bahamas, going to Cuba, the Yucatan, uh, even for the Cayman Islands, the vicinity of the Cayman Islands, there was some activity popping up, same story for Jamaica, parts of the Dominican Republic and Haiti, and even over into Puerto Rico. So that activity is moving westward, away from the Virgin Islands and into Puerto Rico. But for most of the island, it has been a pretty hot and sunny day. And then similar story for the northern uh, Lesser Antilles in areas such as Anguilla, going to Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, uh, Saba, St. Eustatius, St. Barthelemy, and uh, even for St. Martin as well, there has been, uh, there hasn't been much activity in the area. It has been pretty dry for the most part. And so guys, uh, nothing crazy going on overall across the area, but that tropical wave uh, will be approaching as we head into the coming days and that could enhance the rainfall activity across the Eastern Caribbean. But of course, I'm here to keep you posted. And so that is pretty much it for this update. And I hope you found it to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will respond once I get the chance. And as always, remember to be weatherwise.